Today we're exploring an area of Seoul that was made very popular about seven years ago by a singer named Psy. Style. Previously known as an area where all the rich kids came to play and eat and shop, it's now become an area that's known for being K-pop central. And it actually encompasses all of Seoul that is south of the Han River. Because Gangnam is such a large area, there is an endless amount of things to do. From Jamshil Stadium, where you can go to a baseball game, to Olympic Park, where you can go to a local jazz festival, to the entire Lotte district, which has the Lotte World, Lotte Tower, Sky Seoul, to where we are now, which is the Coex Mall area. Today we're going to be bringing you guys along as we explore some of Gangnam's top sites. If you've just found our video, then I'm Debra, and along with my husband Tyler, we're traveling the world for an entire year on $100 a day. This month, we're in our 18th country of South Korea. Our first stop as we explore Gangnam is the Coex Mall area, and right across from it is the Bonggunsa Temple. It's free to enter, we're gonna go walk around, and there's no need to cover up. You can wear whatever you're comfortable with wearing. also a giant Buddha statue up top, so if you want to check that out, make sure to go up the stairs. Right now it's also decorated with a bunch of lanterns because Buddha's birthday was a few weeks ago. We actually went to the Lotus Lantern Festival parade, so if you want to check that out, you can do it up here in this corner. <laughs> Deborah from the future here. Something I forgot to mention is you can actually stay at this temple if you time your visit right, so make sure to look into that if you want to stay. As we make our way across the street, <laughs> to Coex Mall, I thought I would tell you guys about another popular spot in Gangnam area, which is Jamshil. So there's Jamshil Baseball Stadium where you can go have some fun and watch a baseball game. And there's also Jamshil Olympic Park. Olympic Park is when Seoul had the Olympics back in 1988. So it's all the old stadiums they use, like the swimming pool, the track and field stadium. So it's actually pretty cool to check out. Now to Coex Mall. Coex Mall is basically an entire city in its own building. There's an aquarium, a mega box, which is a movie theater, and there's the Starfield Library, which is super famous all over Instagram. So it's definitely worth stopping here, even if you just want to see the Gangnam Style statue. Gangnam Style. There's even an entire walking track. We weren't really in the Coex Mall long, but we wanted to show you guys that area while we were exploring the temple. The main area we wanted to show you guys was Gangnam Central, which is really easy to get to. You can basically take any subway line to Gangnam, as soon as you get to the station, you'll notice that there's a ton of shopping underground. And then once you head upstairs, you'll be able to see the real Gangnam. If you stay on the main road here in Gangnam, then you'll probably just see a bunch of shopping and stores. But if you head off one street into the back alleys, then you'll get tons of cute little cafes. So that's where we're going. The main street is more of like the name brand stores, like the big department stores. If you were looking for fun, go back a street. I got a whole roll of kimbap for three dollars. A squishy. You finally won a clog game. Deborah won her squishy, now we're going to a photo booth. This is like the top thing to do in Gangnam is to go take pictures, so we're gonna try it out. So cute. All right, that was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> Before we head back, we wanted to touch on one more thing that you could do in Gangnam. Of course, this doesn't even scratch the surface of everything you could do here in Gangnam, but another popular attraction is the Lotte Tower. So you can actually go all the way up to the 120th floor and go out on their sky glass observation deck. So really, really cool if you're interested in doing that. The views of Seoul are fantastic from up there. Our very last recommendation if you're looking for something to do in Gangnam is to go down to the Han River at night, get a good drink, some food, and just enjoy the sunset because the views are unbeatable. And they have a really cool waterfall that goes in the dark. It's actually the world's longest waterfall bridge. So it's really beautiful, highly recommend checking it out. As always, we appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see next week's adventure, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
<laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> You're very proud of yourself, right here. You never win these. No. Whoop them, Conlon style. Boop, boop, boop. Do it, so Tyler. Scary. Do it. Why? You go. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I'm so good at it. <laughs>